Okay, welcome guys. Today's video finds us over here in Mandalay in Myanmar. And we're gonna check out a uh, teakwood palace. This used to be the, uh, like the, like the apartment complex or the living quarters of the king. And it was moved out of the uh, Mandalay Palace a few years before. And it was moved a couple kilometers outside of uh, where that palace was at. So this actually survived the bombings and the fighting in World War II. So it's all original. So uh, let's take a look at it and uh, see how things look. So this is the uh, Teakwood Palace. And they're calling it the Golden Palace Monastery. You see some of the figures outside and then you can see all of that detail work in all of that teak wood. This is absolutely amazing. And then over there is a uh, like a pagoda. So let's go inside and take a look at all of this. So you can see they have carved all of these gables. Ooh, that ground is hot. It's at least 40 degrees today. So anytime you're touching concrete, and even this wood is super hot. You can see how this is all carved here. And the doorways are quite low. All right, let's look inside. So you can see this wood is carved and then it's uh, painted gold. And uh, up here, women are not allowed to go up to there. And they say, don't touch anything. We have different scenes here. This is the Suvasama Chataka. This is the Vidhura Chataka. All right, so ladies are not allowed in here, but I can go up here and take a look at this. Wow, this is fantastic. So they've uh, put the rails. This is like a like green glass and then uh, some of the figures. And then a Buddha right there. So this is called uh, Chua Katung, or the Golden Monastery. And it's called that because it was heavily gilded. So it was uh, dismantled after the death of the king in 1878. And it cost 120,000 jug when the building was completed in 1883. It's the building which was left from World War II, which was not destroyed. The rest of the palace was all destroyed. 120,000 jag is uh, not much m money anymore. And there's a couple other buildings out here. But the highlight of this is definitely this building. You can see how it's all carved. Some of the little figures. And then out here, these are, you can see how they were made out of brick and then they put the plaster over the top of them. This is a little room that has some cabinets and stuff that's right behind that Buddha. You see it's all gilded in gold. Just a big open room with uh, all the teak wood. Should be able to see this pretty nice. The sun's behind me here. It's kind of hard looking into the sun. You can see the figures, has that little mythical bird. And then all of this, you can see the detail work right there in all of that wood, all the way around. And this is a massive building. I think this right here is the absolute best part to see this. 
just look at all that detail work. Take a quick peek underneath to see how this is uh, held up. They have some of the eaves and all that. This has uh, wooden pillars down here. See here, it looks like they're a bunch of, the carvings are like monkeys and stuff. All right, so let's look at this temple right next to that teakwood palace. This is called the uh, Maha Atalawayan Kungya Dawashi. <laughs> that is a terrible pronunciation of it. It looks pretty neat. Yeah, so that's quite a mouthful to say this temple name. Down here they have, looks like the lions again. And we'll climb up these stairs and take a look. They have these little pagodas out here, or little jetties. I'm not sure what this is. Kind of looks like a, maybe like a monkey or something. They have those little umbrellas. It has the gold around the doors. It has a nice big open courtyard here. These floor tiles are super hot. Whew. Looks like it's a massive hall with just a small Buddha over there. Yeah, it is cavernous, wow. And then you can buy some little Buddha books here. And there's a lady sleeping over there. That ceiling is amazing. It's quite nice. So this has a lot of room here for people to come in for the ceremonies and the, whenever the monks do the chanting and prayers. Let's take a look at this main Buddha. I really don't like these with the lights around them. I'd rather just see the Buddha image, but that's what you get in a lot of the modern temples. Yeah, so this is the Buddha. And you can buy the flowers and hang them right there. Come up and make merit. This is a nice hall, but it's a little bit different than what I was expecting. And it has a full downstairs also that people can gather up. See how it looks up there. It's a big old building. It was a little less than what I expected. Just a big, huge hall. The Buddha I was expecting may be like a big old Buddha, but it wasn't anything really striking to me. All right, guys, that's gonna finish up our video over here. That uh, teak wood, that golden palace is fantastic. That is unbelievable. It's uh, always fun to see stuff like that that uh, has survived the years. You know, it was moved out of the, the regular palace grounds and it was, survived the bombing and the fighting during World War II. The, uh, the temple that's right here next to it is just a big old temple. It's really uh, nothing special to see, but the main, definitely the main attraction is that teak wood, uh, like a palace building. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. It was uh, fun to see. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you smash like and uh, leave me a comment, tell me what you think. And if you've been here before, leave me a comment down below and uh, tell me what you thought. If, uh, if you wanna come, send me a question in, uh, in the comments. Or if you just want to say that uh, you liked it or anything, just leave me a comment down below. And uh, subscribe if you're new here. That's what I do. I show you things that I see and tell you a little bit about what I knew and what I know. And uh, as always, guys, from over here in Mandalay in Myanmar, life is a journey. Until next time, enjoy. Enjoy.